rolling. One, two, three, test. It's good for the sound. Let's do this. Ancestors is not about unfolding the mission we've put out there for you. It's you, your curiosity, that is driving the show. Because in Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, there is no mini-map, and there is no map at all. It was important for us that the player is actually, again, the, the one mapping, the one discovering, the one exploring, and not us helping through that journey, through that Odyssey, a lot. And you'll have to really actually go down into your uh, instinct in order to play the game. The more you're curious and you test and you experiment, you'll see the game opening up for you. <laughs> I get surprised by the game every single time I play because I'm trying new stuff. It's a game, there's still boundaries, right? But you can go pretty much anywhere you want. We've created a world for you, right? And then you're kind of like the co-creators of the experience. There's like, everything is kind of like there and it's up to you to be curious and, and, and find what's in it. Each time I do an action, I'm asking some energy. And the more action I do quickly, eventually that energy is spent and I, it will tap into the stamina of the character. You have to eat, drink, and sleep. Those are the three core elements uh, for your survival. And once you sleep for at least four hours, we'll update your daily regimen, and that will, you will gain back your stamina and your energy. Well, throughout the game, you'll have different encounters with, uh, with dangers and uh, you can get attacked, they can attack each other, which is good for you, by the way. If you're being pursued by a, a leopard and then he's, he sees an antelope, maybe the lunch of the leopard is the antelope and not you. And uh, be careful on what you put in your mouth, I would say, in general. You may be uh, poisoned. Uh, water is kind of good in general, but food you never know. And you can die by falling, be careful in some of the rivers. There's, you know, you can slip, for example. So there's a lot of things that can kill you. But we will never give you the solution. It's up to you to experiment and eventually to go through bad times in order to have good times, I would say. And like Carl Sagan said, right? Extinction is the norm. Survival is the exception. So you're gonna play really in an environment that wants to kill you. There's really danger around every corner.
bedroom. Half the crew is dead drunk in my sick bay. After eating your miraculous space chili. Any thoughts? Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy. Mm, invigorating. Captain to crew. Dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. Else space chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige. Bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> Keep laughing, fools. The key ingredients to good cooking is love. We are dead in the water. I repeat. Main engines are cursed. Nox, come in. What have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. Hey, get back here, Shani. Pull off! <laughs> In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. surprise prepped and everything but it looks to me like your hands are full <laughs> it's no biggie we 
can always tweak the rules a bit. do to make it out alive is not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does. サムポーターブリッジス伝説の配達にその涙変えられるアレルギーねねあなたもドゥームスなんでしょ Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. 
you going to insult us with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeeper's orders, one way or another. Stay back! After this, you'll start seeing a significant change in the city, as access to the water supply has allowed the Peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world, your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. I still don't see why we brought a Shinra soldier along. No way he'd throw all that away for us. What's his name, anyway? Cloud Strife. And he says it's former soldier. Look, heavy security like this, you want a professional. We're paying you more than a few gear. You best be worth it. Look, I don't care about your politics. Not interested. Wait. Oh. Get back here. Was close.
Hmm. Nobu, come. late. You're impatient. Where's the monk? The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. Sago Bridge. We strike quietly. Or they kill the monk. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. Please, I do not understand. Uldath we, chamagot unhami, uthmi che yaven sakt, che obe latno. Dini varianya. Reinforcements. We have to move. <laughs> Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. The Mongols win. 
They already won. Give me the mark. No. Samurai. You are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I will ask you once again, Samurai, do you surrender? <laughs> <laughs> 